This is a mass delusion. The society is in the throes of a mass delusion. Shouldn't we be suspicious if ex nihilo from nothing comes a belief, a moral system of value that has literally penetrated every single American institution almost overnight? No matter what the value is, shouldn't we be suspicious of it? Shouldn't we ask questions of it? And shouldn't we be even more suspicious of it if asking questions gets us in trouble? Of course we should. And if you do question it, you're a blasphemer, you're a heretic, you're a racist, you're a bigot, you're a Nazi, you're a sexist, you're a homophobe. Well, no, how about I'm just trying to figure out why you believe it? Like, what is your evidence for belief? If you had evidence, you wouldn't need to call anybody names. You'd just tell them why you believe it. And that's the other crazy thing about this ideology. There's no evidence for it. It's completely ideological. We have woke people right now who want everybody else to think exactly like they do. They want them to have their beliefs. And if you think about it in terms of cognitive liberty, then you can view that as a tyranny. Anybody can believe anything they want to believe. This to me is what makes this the shining city upon a hill. Anybody can come here, they can believe, they can take their traditions, or they cannot take their traditions. And the problem comes when other people impose their morality and their will and tell people what they can say or do or think. And that's the situation that we have now with the woke. They want to tell you what to think. They want to tell you how to live. They want to interfere in your friendships. This is the most un-American thing possible. And if you say that to them, they would laugh at that. They would say, yes, we hate this country. It's built on misogyny and racism. But these are the new authoritarians. This is the new tyranny. And the schism, the fault line in this is not conservative, liberal. It's not Republican, Democrat. The schism is those who are authoritarians and those who are not. Those who want liberty for everybody and those who do not. And now we have a bunch of totalitarian thugs like Antifa who wants to destroy that and destroy the institutions that protect our speech and our due process and our freedom of assembly and our freedom of the press. And we have those who stand against them. Stand up, take the consequences, take the heat. And don't think that by spouting leftist platitudes, they won't come for you. They're gonna come for you even more. So don't be a coward, just stand up. The Greeks call it parahesia speaking truth in the face of danger. That's what we need now more than anything. That's the only thing that's gonna get us out of this. Parahesia, speaking truth in the face of danger.